Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Javier with The Real Javier Novoa, channel, a platform, and a modality where we apply the principles of interiorism to rapid lifestyle transformation, of getting free. And I'm really excited because now the comments and the emails and now the coaching appointments are really pouring in for this channel. This channel is having an impact. And while I always say that I'm not teaching anything original here, rather I'm applying it in new ways, the specific application and the specific bent and nuance, if you will, of the material is attracting a lot of people and it's waking a lot of people up. It's teaching a lot of people. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to go over some comments on the video we made last, which was a very popular video. It was... Uh, how to become a master at manifesting first you have to do this and I started it out a little negatively just so that I could jolt some people who were on the traditional path to success or quote unquote success to sort of wake up and I actually did it had the intended effect and a lot of people who were on the fence about these modalities or who didn't even know about law of assumption law of attraction or basically success with ease. Basically all of these modalities are here to point you in the direction of success with ease, of getting whatever you want with ease. A lot of people didn't know about it. And this video on this channel and a lot of the videos we're making now are having an impact. And of course I usually don't mention names even though they're public comments, but I do, you can read the comments. But I wanted to read two in particular that really touched me from one of our longtime subscribers. She said, Hey man, I want to thank you for your videos. I did not know about LOA before I clicked on your videos in my recommendation. So that is the very law of attraction that's giving these videos, delivering them through the algorithm when people need them most and what people have called for. Because remember, and I, I'm talking to you who made the comment and to a lot of you out there, if you... We're not already on this trajectory and hungering for this and asking for this and knowing that something was out there, you would have never been able to find it. The great French philosopher Blaise Pascal, about whom we'll have a lot to talk probably in future videos, said that the Lord God says, if you had not found me, you could not seek me. Something like this. If you've not already found God, you cannot seek him. And if you have already not on a deep level of yourself found interiorism or any of its emanations, law of attraction, LOA, then you could not be seeking it. So you already know this. This is just a refining and a coming back home, so to speak, of what you already know. So congratulations to you for that. I'm just the telephone. I'm the servant I'm the facilitator, but you are the one who calls this forth, and I'm infinitely grateful to you and to all of the viewers and subscribers of this channel. So she says, "My, I believe my first comment on your page was something along the lines of, I don't know what you're talking about. Because you're trying to, because people, when they're in that mode, and that's why I always say, that's fine if you don't understand me, or if you only understand me just a little bit, that's perfectly fine. We can start there keep going because I promise you as you meditate contemplate upon the material you're going to have a better grounding a better understanding because remember this knowledge is not intellectual this is not like mathematics or logic or history even those I have a secret for you are not intellectual but you think they are and you can use the modes of intellectualism for those but for this you have to abandon the quote unquote rational mind because of course even the extra rational mind or even the subconscious mind is eminently rational because what is reason really? What is the formal definition of reason or logic? That is extrapolating conclusions from premises. You could not speak without logic or reason. But what the world defines as logic and reason is basically the left brain and it's within the realm of the quote unquote believable and I think we did a good job of debunking and destroying that last night. So if you don't understand, I invite you to w listen to this subscriber and keep hanging in there, keep watching, and it's going to click for you, and I promise your life's going to transform in ways that you never thought possible. But 
Well, I have bought the Neville Goddard collection of books now. The books are great, and I'm enjoying learning about this because of you. And I say again, it's not because of me. It's because of you. It's because of your calling. So thank you to all of you who are listening to this channel, who are benefit, benefiting all of us by calling forth from me what the world needs at this time, and I'm happy to be that telephone for you from your inner being to the world here. Someone also commented on that very video and said, I do hope that newcomers to your channel understand this information because it's very important. And again, this is a commenter, a subscriber. We could call it a testimonial, hopefully. I agree that holding our vision in our imagination is mastery, especially when we're going through challenging times or our past has been difficult. Forming the vision in our minds is one thing, but maintaining it is something entirely different. Thanks for the work you're doing here. And that's what it's all about. It's about persisting. And remember, Neville Goddard said, when you imagine something or focus on something, it's not going to be about the intensity. Because as we all know, any of us who have gone to self-help seminars or any of us who have gone to conferences, business conferences, we're very intense that day. Even meditation programs. I know a lot of great teachers who've stopped doing retreats and conferences. And I indeed want to do some retreats, but a lot of them stopped doing them because they said, yeah, you know, Javier, they get excited when they come and they're very intense. But then when they get back in their work-a-day world, they forget it. And what we want to do is teach people not to be dependent on seminars and to be able to carry this over to persist in the work-a-day world. Well, Neville said, it's not about being intense one time. It's about frequency. It's about how much you return to the state that you know that you are. No matter what the circumstances on the outer present to you and throw at you, no matter what your emotions or feelings or thoughts throw at you. Because all of your emotions and feelings and thoughts are temporary and are changing. And you can watch them just pass across the screen of your mind. It's what we teach when we teach mindfulness. But it doesn't matter how you feel. Even though I know Abraham Hicks says it does, and she's right. But from the point of view of what we're talking about, it doesn't matter how you feel. Why? Because... As long as you keep persisting, you're going to click with that state many times a day. And when you click with that is when you're there. But if you're worried about how you feel, of course use it as an indicator. And what's the indicator? It's like an alarm bell telling you come back to the state. But then don't tell yourself, well, I feel bad so I can't get into the state. Because you are the state. But don't worry about feeling bad. Just lay new pipes have new self conversations the next few videos i'm going to be guiding you through inner talk inner self talk self conversations it's the only technique you're going to need but anyway keep reverting to the state no matter what and those are just a few of the comments what i really wanted to do is a answer a question from an email that I was sent by an international subscriber, someone who had been watching our channel for the first time. And this subscriber came across my videos through the great Trevor Blake. And I would see Trevor Blake as a mentor of mine of sorts. Of course, I've never actually met him, but I've read a lot of his books and followed a lot of his materials. Don't agree with everything, but he's a great mentor. He's the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. He is basically... A multi-millionaire who has built successful company after successful company and as he says with no failures by utilizing this very material what we know as uh, interiorism what he calls it something different he calls it intention the power of intention it's all the same thing and we do incorporate a lot of his work but this questioner wanted to ask he says hi Javier and hello uh, I just found your YT channel through a comment of yours on Trevor Blake's video, so it worked. I always love making comments on some of these very popular YouTubers videos so that I can get some people to come and watch my videos because they relate very well and I also believe that I bring a bent, a unique bent that might smooth out some of the shall we say rough areas of their 
philosophy and vice versa. Some people could come to my channel and find some of my rougher areas and hopefully smooth those out. That's the marketplace of ideas and I love that and I welcome that. And I hope other people do too. But Ashley recently discovered Trevor as well, so this is all new to me. And of course this is not new to you because every one of us are manifestors. We all do this. We just choose to do it within the framework of beliefs that say you're doing this on the physical. But it's that belief itself which is keeping us there. But once you know that you're a manifester and you're creating it all, and in fact you are it. Once you learn the principles of materialism, the rest of it will take care of itself because you'll know that's what you've been doing all along and you don't even need to become a better manifester. All you need to do is get out of the way. It's basically what we're teaching on this channel. But My question is, could someone really manifest anything they want? Because right now I'm kind of afraid of never achieving my goal of making $1 million plus a year profit. That's a great goal, but you know, it's going to take a whole other video, and I have made videos about this in the past to sort of smooth that out, but just know for now, Trevor Blake does talk about a number, and numbers are beautiful as placeholders. But remember, all of these things, whether they be numbers, whether they be scenes, whether they be pieces of paper, whether they be checks, they're all permission slips, because they're all placebos. Basically what they are is a placeholder to give us permission to then flow our energy to what we really want, which is a state. We made a video about this before, and I will make a more detailed video about, video about this in the coming days. But remember, you never desire a static thing. A hundred million dollars profit a year is beautiful, but it's a static thing. And what Trevor encourages people do, and what I encourage people do, is flesh that out a little bit more. What does a million dollars profit a year mean to you? Why do you want it? What's behind it? Juice that. Ring that out for all it's worth because it's what you want, the desires behind that, which are actually going to get you flowing your juices and are going to get you there. And we never say you can't get there. Of course you can get there, but ask yourself, why do you want that? Trevor Blake said in a recent interview a few days ago, someone told him that they wanted to be a billionaire. And Trevor Blake said, well, did you know that billionaires have to have a security detail? Did you know that you have to live somewhere now where no one knows that you're a billionaire? So, because they're going to be coming and asking you for money and so on and so forth. So, Flesh out your desire and figure out exactly what it is you want. In fact, when I went to Galveston about a month and a half ago, I did some videos taking you through a Trevor Blake-inspired commitment ritual while I was on the beach in the Bolivar Peninsula. Hopefully, I'll link that video below and you can watch that video. That's the most important thing here. Now, if you're afraid of not achieving it, you've already misunderstood Trevor and you've misunderstood our teachings here in interiorism. Because remember, interiorism teaches that you have it now. Trevor Blake talks about an intention being a goal in a pr the present tense or the past tense, meaning that you already have that and you're living in the fullness of it now. If you can get to where you're living in the fullness of it now, then there will be no question of fearing not having it because you are it now. Remember, all of your desires are all on the interior and all of the outer world has been scientifically proved to actually be one with the interior. Just remember that. We're going to be making a lot of videos about this. I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, keep watching the videos, and like the young lady who commented in the video that we made a few days ago, you will understand this. Don't even try to understand it intellectually. Just be and just let the material flow through you. I'd also encourage you to watch all of Trevor Blake's videos that you can and read his books and let that material flow through you. By the way, we're trying to set up an interview with Trevor Blake. I really want to interview him because there are some questions I have for him as well. There are some points at which it would seem that our philosophies uh, oppose each other. I know that they don't, but I want to get more clarity for my audience. I did put in an application for an interview 
we'll see if that's accepted and how that goes. But just a little FYI, you, we might be having an interview here on my channel with the great Trevor Blake. That's our intention. So, which would make me a billionaire on paper, and that amount would help me donate at least 50% of that money every year to charitable causes. And I ask you, is that donation something that you really truly want to do from you? If it is, then go for that and keep juicing that as well. Because you might want to donate to certain projects that you love, certain uh, projects that you believe in. However, if it's for the sake of someone else, or trying to impress somebody, or trying to justify your $100 million, that's working against you because it's going into resistance and we can perhaps talk about that as well on future videos I know I've made videos on this channel about whether the desire is yours or not because if it's not yours as Vadim Zelen says it's gonna be a lot harder getting your heart and your mind to align to actually have that desire materialize on the quote-unquote physical but Trevor has some proof of his stuff that works, like selling companies for $300 million, stuff like that. Do you have any stories of your own? How did you use your techniques to manifest everything that you want? How long does it take for a manifestation to happen? Thanks. So, I have a lot of stories about manifestations. I've talked about it on some videos. Perhaps we can talk about it. But here's the issue of proof. You want to prove these modalities, but... This is where I disagree a little bit with what Trevor Blake's putting out there. Trevor Blake's spiel is, I can't trust anyone who's not rich through a business that I deem justifiable. And I think he's unconsciously taken a little bit of having to justify yourself, a little bit of the philosophy of having to work hard without him meaning to, He's taken some of that into this. And therefore, for example, he says, I can't follow Napoleon Hill because he only got rich off his own books. And he made a lot of mistakes. Well, many people had a lot, many great people had a lot of failures, including Henry Ford and others. And that's a badge of honor because it means that basically you're moving. And again, we've had videos about how there's really no failure because it's only a failure if you say it's a failure. Otherwise, it's a stepping stone. But back to that. I do have a lot of uh, stories. I'm not a multimillionaire, nor do I want to be a multi-multimillionaire. I do want to live comfortably. I don't really have a huge monetary number. I do want to live, basically, having whatever I want at the moment that I want it. But my desires are not over the top. Like, for example... I'd love to, and I do, I'm pursuing, I'd love to pilot a private plane. But a small plane, I don't really want to take charter jet flights everywhere. Um, I don't really want to live in a palace. In fact, a, a, a nice house in the country will do, probably one story. So, it's all about what you want. So, Trevor Blake, yes, he's a very successful man, very wealthy man. I don't want that lifestyle. Many people do. And it's perfectly beautiful to have that. Maybe one day I'll want that. You know, uh, Ferraris and very nice cars. I, I don't care. I, I drive a car that's 10 years old. I don't care about my car, really. Th those aren't my aims. And Neville Goddard, too, he also said. Although he was a wealthy man, he was not material. He didn't care about having a lot of things. So he, so he talks about someone gave him a TV, a television at that time, and he finally ended up giving it to his maid, said, here, take this, because I'm going to have to spend a bunch of money uh, maintaining this. Listen to Neville. But anyway, whatever you want is beautiful that you pursue that. But I disagree with the fact that if someone has not made millions in a business that Mr. Blake finds uh, savory, then he's not to be taken from. Because all of these people have made millions. Wayne Dyer made millions. Abraham Hicks has made millions. Yes, it wasn't the self, you could call it the self-help industry, but that's a business as well. I mean, there's accounting, there's numbers, there's revenues, there's all of the aspects of a business in that. Why is that different from selling hot dogs? 
So according to Trevor Blake, if I got rich selling hot dogs, you should listen to me. But if I got rich writing books about interiorism, you should not listen to me. I find it nonsensical, with all due respect, because I love everything that Trevor Blake's put out. These are areas that I disagree with and areas that I'd love to discuss with him. Also, the, you know, there's the fact about the feminine age, that we're now entering into the feminine age. I, I find it quite doctrinaire, and I don't agree with that either. Uh, I'm not sure I totally understand where he's coming from on that. He said something about uh, women, uh, they used to rule in ancient times. And they didn't, when they were in battle, they didn't stop to collect their, uh, their wounded, and they took no prisoners. And then he acted as if that was a good thing. How is that a good thing? But these are just things that, that, uh, that you know, we might differ on. But here's the main point. It doesn't matter what I've done or what Mr. Blake has done, even though Mr. Blake's stories are very inspiring. And I have some stories that are very inspiring as well, but what matters is how it works for you. And you don't need to worry about the background of the person you're taking this information from. Why? Because as Neville said, you go and test it. You do it. So watch the videos that I'm putting out, especially like one about manifesting a car. Try to manifest something small in the beginning just so that you can get your sea legs about it, see how it works. Manifest $1,000. And then come to me and tell me whether it worked doesn't matter what I've done or what he's done. Of course, I can share some testimonials, so on and so forth. We do that in other videos. But test it for yourself. Do it yourself. And in the videos that are coming up, if you're at all scientifically minded or philosophically minded, we're going to give absolute scientific proof and grounding to our philosophy of interiorism. We're going to give lots of philosophical proofs. We're going to show you why it works and how it works, and we're going to be giving testimonials. I'm currently working with a business where we're, we're applying these principles of interiorism very precisely and in a very experimental way, and we're going to be able to give case studies on that later, so stay tuned. So thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please continue to send me your questions, your emails, your comments. I love when you comment on the videos when you like the videos and if you find these videos of value please do subscribe to the channel you will be putting your energy in with a group of master manifestors as well as helping me get the word of interiorism out it's a word whose time has come i'm doing coaching calls guys i can show you this stuff personally hand in hand as a consultant i do also have years of experience in business and consulting we can get you off the prison grid quicker than you thought possible and we're doing that in these videos also so until very soon ladies and gentlemen it's javier with the real javier Navoa bidding you a very good night and a lovely beginning to your week thanks a lot